Hello, how's it going? Beer here. Hope you're all good, hombres. Uh, yeah, I will first of all apologise for this because this is the tall beard. I haven't shaved since before tour. Actually, no, that's a lie. I haven't shaved since halfway through tour. You really didn't need to know that. I just thought I'd tell you anyway. But yeah, um, what I'm doing today is I posted on uh, my Facebook page um, about the idea of taking you through my pedal board. Um, because I haven't done that really yet uh, with regards to sounds. I know you know what's on there, but I mean, like, I'm gonna do what shit sounds like and how to use it, or how I would use it, sorry, in a musical context. I'm gonna start with the Germanian Fuzz, the Buffalo FX one, because I'm gonna go from right to left and finish with the Strymons. So I'll show you what's on the board first. Okay, so yeah, we've seen all this before. That's the Polytune Mesa Flux Drive. Germanian Fuzz, Mobius, Timeline, and the JVM foot switch. So yeah, basically, these are in the loop, these are in front, and standard JVM 410 head. We'll start with the Germanian Fuzz. It's also worth adding that this uh, particular pedal is powered by a 9 volt battery or a power supply. Uh, although you can't daisy chain the power, so you can't, unless you're using isolated power, as in a pedal power Voodoo Labs um, power supply, you can't just daisy chain like you could with the Boss pedals, otherwise it'll just cut everything else out, which is really annoying, I know, but it is the way it is. So yeah, 9 volt power supply, 9 volt battery, um, or yeah, isolated power supply unit, yeah. Okay. So I'm here, I've got a mic in front of the cab, it's just a Sennheiser E606, um, pretty good guitar mic and basically I've just got it in a sweet spot on my cab, it's a 1960 4x12 and um, yeah, straight into Logic if you can see it recording now uh, and basically um, I'm just going to show you what the fuzz does. It's, it is just a fuzz pedal but I really like the way it sounds, it's got a nice tone. Um, so yeah, I'll show you it through a few different sounds. Um, I basically just add it to the crunch sound because um, if you put it to like a high gain sound, it, it gets really intense because you've got the high gain kind of distortion fighting with a fuzz and it doesn't really work. Whereas crunch is thicker anyway, especially on the JVM, the crunch channel is thicker and a little bit more chewy. Um, and so it really complements the fuzz tone. So you'll see what I mean when I play anyway. I'm using my signature guitar. This is the ML1, Prototype 1. Uh, I'm receiving Prototype 2 in about two weeks. Uh, and some of the changes that'll be made is that I'm getting rid of these pickup rings. Um, I'm getting rid of this, and I'm gonna move the volume to where it is, and it's still gonna be push-pull. But I just don't really use a tone knob, so I'm not really that fussed. And also it means that I can roll off behind the trem rather than in the way where the bar would be I can I can you know that kind of thing which I like I'm also gonna carve away here because I won't have the pickup ring I'm gonna get a, a spoon cut cut in here and on the back there so along with the set through you're just gonna get ultimate access you know so I'm really happy about that I'm also gonna thin off this neck a bit it's gonna be the same profile as Rob's signature which will be I guess it's going to be close to the, the washburns that I use in terms of the neck profile. I just wanted something thin and fast. Um, and then also, I'm going to change the finish from satin to wax. Because this is satin, and it's really nice. You know, I really like it, but I'm very used to wax finished guitars because there's like barely anything between you and the actual wood. And I prefer that. But anyway, uh, this is going to be available to pre order in the next couple of weeks. Uh, it's going to be 599 uh, but that also includes everything that you see here. So that's an original Floyd Rose trim. I'll give you a quick close up there. So you're going to get an original Floyd Rose trim, the Seymour Duncan custom in the bridge, and a Duncan 59 in the neck. And it's all bolt tap, split one. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. If you like the way this sounds, then um, check them out. Let them out. So at the minute, I'm going to use. Uh, a mild, this is crunch stage on green and the, the controls are probably one o'clock for gain, uh, sort of two o'clock for treble and mids and just above 12 for bass. 
and then the channel volume's at about 12 o'clock. So it's basically, that's just how it's set. So this is how it sounds, just just the, uh, the guitar into the amp. So it's a little bit bitey. Anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stomp in the fuzz now to the the um, the sound that I've already got, which is Green Stage Crunch, and I've got the levels basically set. Level is uh, twelve o'clock, and then what's funny about this pedal is uh, um, you've got four controls. That's it, and the button, and the four controls are L, F, P, and B, which I'm not. I don't know a lot about fuzz pedals, I just like this one, so I guess L is level, F is fuzz, B is maybe bass, and P, I'm not quite sure what P stands for, might be pressure or phase or, basically, I could look it up on the internet, but I think that takes a bit of the fun out of it, so anyway, I've got everything on full, apart from level, which is at 12 o'clock, and I gotta like the way it sounds, so here you go. say st stoner rock vibe to it um, and it's kind of just I don't know it's really thick and like there's something really like dirty about it I kept saying on tour that it sounds like a filthy whore and that rhymed um, yeah it's really cool I, I really enjoy it uh, so now I'm gonna add it to a little bit more put more gain on the amp so you can hear how it starts to react so now we're on crunch orange stage so I'll play it without first. So it's, it's more saturated now. Has a little different tone to the green stage, um, but it's nice. I like it because you can clean it up by picking lighter. So. And it still creeps in, you know? And then the more you give it, so that's really cool. Um, what what will end up happening is that when you stomp in <laughs> the fuzz, you don't get that dynamic control so much anymore. You just get more filth. Orange stage, JVM, same controls with the fuzz. <laughs> because I'm trying to subconsciously simulate how large this pedal sounds, which is total nonsense. But anyway, yeah, when I've added it to the um, the orange stage on the JVM, it just, it, it gives you even more of that. 
it's it's almost a smooth tone when you play when you to fit to play. It's smoother. Um, it instantly makes me want to play stoner rock, you know. It instantly makes me want to play those bluesy, just chuggy kind of riffs with the with the string bends and all that stuff, you know. Because the tone of the fuzz between two strings as they start to meet the same pitch, what you'll tend to hear is if you've ever done a harmonic between two strings to try and tune, and when you start getting them in tune, it slows down. The actual frequencies go from whoa 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 until it meets and then you're in tune. But the cool thing about this is it really highlights that. So when you start doing all these, you can hear how it's sl it was really fast and slowed down, and that's why I think fuzz is really cool, because they give you a lot more, I think it, it's just really intense, exaggerated tone, you know? But I think it's really cool. You'll know what I mean if you play for a, for a good fuzz pedal. Yeah, so now I'll add it to uh, the red stage of the crunch. Uh, and this is my personal favourite because it's so over the top and it's so intense and it's so in your face but it's so much fun to play. So here we go. <laughs> nice it's like I said it's still chewy it's still uh, less edgy than the overdrive channels on the JBM um, but it what it, it just allows you to have a bit more gain and uh, once again a bit more punch when you play <laughs> So now I'm going to add the, uh, again, going to add the uh, fuzz to it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's quite noisy, but it doesn't matter. This is really cool. That's intense. It's really intense, but uh, it's so much fun. It just it's it's so intense, like with regards to the way the two tones mix between the amp and the pedal, that it sounds like it's it's breaking almost. The tone is just like it's too much, so it starts like imploding on itself tonally, and you get this like dirty kind of. It sounds like 
it can't hold enough inside the speaker. It just wants to give you as much as it can. And for some reason, I love it. I don't know what it's going to sound like to you guys through the microphone, but it, it, you know, when you're in the room, it just it is filthy. I use it for the intro of a song called Written uh, by Dorje, which we, which we played on tour. Um, really, really enjoy that song. And it, I think it's the perfect way to start the song because it's so filthy and it just you, you just can't help but gurn. You know what I mean? Get that filth gurn. So, yeah, um, that's basically... It, what I'll do is I'll just quickly f mess around with the pedals, with the with the um, with the controls on it, um, just to show you a few of the different tones that you can get out of it. I particularly like it when you roll off the B control because what you end up with is like it's like it's broken. It's like it's run out of batteries. You'll see what I mean. I mean, it's, it's like it's run out of batteries. Really cool. You can do a lot with that, with delay and stuff. Check it out. So that's that's it, you know. Like I, I've never used that sound before, so I was just trying to make something work with a bit of delay. Um, yeah. So when you roll the bass out, you just get that top end fuzz, but it actually takes a lot of the um, response out of uh, out of it too. So you do get left. You get left with that like. I think that's really cool, and you could really use that in layering, in, in parts and songs, you know, if you've got two guitars you can really take advantage of a tone like that. Um, so yeah, that's cool. So that's it. I think it's a really cool pedal. Uh, I always wanted a fuzz pedal on my board, so I've got it. I don't think I'm going to change it because I, I only use it occasionally. For those of you who are more into your stoner rock, your bluesy kind of full-on riffy Red Fang style uh, rock, uh, I recommend getting one because for the riffy stuff, it's great. It, it does what you need it to do, um, and it's got so much of it. And it all depends on how you blend it with your own amp sound. But uh, yeah, I'd say I'd recommend going and getting one, trying it out. I think they're about one four nine, one five nine retail. So uh, check it out. See, see if you can find one by Buffalo FX. Um, so yeah, I recommend. But that's the first pedal of the pedalboard tour. So next week I'm going to be doing the Strymon Mobius, which is a modulation pedal, and that's an insane pedal. Um, I'm still working through what it does, but I'll, I'll take you through everything that I've found with it so far, how I used it on tour, um, and how I plan to use it for songwriting and stuff like that. So yeah. Until next week, I will catch you guys later. Peace.